Hello guys, uh, now we are going to see how do we create a variable block. In last video we have seen about how do we create a fixed block ps file. Now we are going to see how do we create a variable block ps file. So as usual, you should uh, see a three different statement, job, exec and dd statements. And here I would like to give some comment here. So this jcl is used to create a ps file of variable block okay that is we call it as vb okay. then as is the same thing uh, you can see an exec program i.e. fbr14 the program that we are using is sprint is south system these are the uh, system defined dd statements and then i'm going to give the data state name as test.input.vb that is variable block and the data set organization is it remains same the ps file and the record format is vb and the record length i'm taking it as the maximum record length i'm taking it as 80 and the block size is 0 okay now just submit this and once you submit so it has been ended with max cc maximum condition code as 0 that means the data set has been created successfully uh, if you want to check the log you can check the log by going to start yes colon st and you can go here and just type yes and you can see the started ended time and uh, if you want to see the complete messages you can see uh, step 01 was executed and uh, the data set is successfully created now if you type equal to x it will go to the backward screen and it will close the existing screen now go to 3.4 and paste your data set that has been copied and just type enter then type s command here and see the properties here so you can see uh, it has a ps and the vb the record format has been changed from fixed block to variable block and the record length is 80 it's the track and cylinders you can see the same now what I will do is I'll just I will type it as B or E so I can T I can type it as E okay since that is an empty I was not able to browse it so here you can see the length as 72 for the variable block so what happens is uh, uh, it will capture once again just make this scroll as CSR okay and type this as columns okay and I will try to enter some text here okay okay I press F11 see you can see only 76 bytes it can you can write for this even though you have mentioned 80 bytes over there that means extra uh, that is the four bytes are used for record description or a block description so every record or uh, or for every block so it will capture those five of that four bytes to identify I mean to store some description about uh, these uh, records so as I said uh, VB stands for variable block right it's used for the variable records in the fixed block each record is fixed to some 80 bytes right whatever the length you give in variable records it can vary the first record can be a 10 bytes or the second record can be a 20 bytes and maximum is of 76 bytes if you are giving 24 as a record length so the maximum length you can capture is 20 and the remaining 4 bytes will be used for a a record description or a blog description okay so that's the main uh, usage of the variable block sometimes when you do your programming so you are expected to have a record length in a varying format first record uh, can be of 10 bytes second record can be of 20 bytes and third can be 30 again fourth can be 10 bytes so in that case situations we can use a variable block data sets or a ps file I hope you got the importance of this uh, variable block so just try practicing 
try practicing creating a different lens of a variable blocks and the different lens of fixed block and uh, hope you can see the differences and this usage can be exactly seen when we go into the COBOL uh, videos where we will be trying to read a how to write a COBOL program using fixed block or a variable block how do we read the data when it is a variable block file or a fixed block file okay thank you so much for watching have a great and pleasurable day or an evening